The Borders Own 1494 2AY and joining us from Wodonga Tape, CEO Mark Dixon. How are you? I'm well, Sandra. Good morning. Now, off air, we were just having a little chat and I was really quite surprised by this information that you gave me about unemployment in our region. Yeah, it's it's a sad bit of news, really. Mm. In, in in 2016, our region was ranked as um, in in the in the worst 20 in the country for unemployment for young people, and um, you know that's a shame. And and I, I guess it's a community responsibility about how we go about fixing that. And and a TAFE obviously is a key partner in helping our community to do something about unemployment in our region. And and we we all have a part to play in it. And it's about young people, and it's about young people having choices. And I think today what often happens is that when people um, get to the end of school life, school is automatic for everybody and everybody knows that they've got to go. Um, and when they finish school, a lot of people really don't know what they want to do next. And it's, a, it's about knowing what's out there and it's about matching people to jobs. Mm. What we find sort of uh, surprising sometimes is a lot of young people are very keen to work, but they don't necessarily have the right skills Sometimes we can fix that at the TAFE with good qualifications and really good quality qualifications that not just teach a trade or a skill, but also give them some life skills that will just help them get over the line with a job interview. Um, but it's not just all about the skills. Sometimes they don't know what jobs are out there. Um, and as a community player, what we want to do at the TAFE is, is match people to those jobs. We have lots of industry and businesses come and tell us that they actually have jobs that they can't fill. Mm. So um, the jobs are there. Our unemployment rates for young people are quite poor. Let's do something about it together. And um, all I would ask your listeners to do, if, if they're looking for a job, come and talk to us. Um, industry and businesses, uh, they come and talk to us and they'll tell us where the jobs are and we'll help match you. And if there's a skills gap, we'll fill those skills for you. Now, obviously, you're talking about, you know, young people, but this, obviously, we've, we've spoken before, this applies for other people who are maybe getting back into the workforce for whatever reason, or even, you know, having a, a change in their employment, deciding to go down a different path. It does. And again, interestingly, uh, we looked at our statistics from last year, and, and we have a full range of students of all different ages coming through the TAFE. Obviously, Lots of people who are leaving school, sometimes as early as year 9 or year 10, year 11. Um, so there's a big cohort around that age group. But you're right, our oldest student last year was 84. Oh. So we're in a, in, in a new, um, I guess, paradigm now where people will move jobs on a regular basis. And, and people want to move for promotions, but also a completely second career choice mm. and a, a different lifestyle. So um, the, the need to provide people with qualifications all through life it has never been more important. And it doesn't cost us anything to pop in and have a chat and get some information. It's the information. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we're trying to do to really make a step change in giving people that information. So what we've got uh, that's going to hit the streets very, very soon is what, what we're calling our new mobile information, information centre. And it's a very sort of flash truck and trailer that is going to go around all our region. There's lots of information accessible to people actually living in Wodonga or living in Albury. It's very hard if you're out in the region and rural uh, mm. towns and villages that don't have that information to hand. So we're going to take our mobile information centre, a big truck. It's a fabulous truck. It's got internet connection. We can do an on online enrolments on the truck. We can actually do uh, job interviews for people, CV writing for people. We can tell them about the jobs that are available in their regions. It's going to go all around our region, the whole of North East Victoria. We're going to be into the schools mm -hmm. so we can actually share that information with people who are you know, yet to make a decision about where their future lies. Give them that information, give it to them for free. It's a community service and anybody can use it. So it will be looking at school venues all around our region but also community events. And, and if anybody is running a community event and they want to offer that service of a free information centre that will talk about skills, jobs, qualifications, just let us know and we'll, we'll, we'll join you at that event. As always, we point people to the website because obviously all the info's there and all the phone numbers and your contact details. The internet's a, a really good way on the website. Um, there's the, always the 1300 MyTAFE phone number, which will take you straight to Wodonga TAFE. People can come in to see us on any of the campuses or the Skills and Jobs Centre. But what we're trying to do here is really make people realise that a TAFE is a community um, player. We are a part of this community and we want to make a difference and we want to make sure that we lift those unemployment rates. 
and give everybody in our region a free and, and fair and accessible opportunity to get some life skills, get some new qualifications and get the job that they've always wanted to do. Mm. From Wodonga TAFE, Mark Dixon, always good to speak with you. Thank you. You too, Sandra. Thank you. Bye.